In Japan's northernmost main island, Hokkaido, seismic activity has again drawn global attention. Nestled within the volatile Pacific Ring of Fire, this region has a history of devastating geological events due to its complex position atop shifting tectonic plates. This latest episode centers on a cluster of earthquakes, including a magnitude 6.1 and a 5.9, rattling the coastline near Nemuro, an area long considered overdue for a major event. But before diving into the recent tremors, it's crucial to understand the historical and scientific backdrop that intensifies the current concern. Japan's eastern coastline, particularly near Hokkaido, is recognized by experts as a high-risk zone for mega-earthquakes. This risk isn't hypothetical. It's anchored in scientific projections and a tragic past. The Fukushima disaster, triggered by a 9.1 magnitude quake in 2011, serves as a haunting reminder of nature's destructive power. That earthquake led to a tsunami that overwhelmed safety systems and exposed radioactive material to the environment, affecting areas as far as the west coast of North America. In response, Japanese government scientists now warn of a 70% probability of an 8.0, 8.6 magnitude quake within the next 30 years in this region, with even a 40% chance of a 9.2. This looming threat is compounded by the vulnerability of coastal nuclear power plants like Tamari and Higashidori. These facilities, critical to the nation's energy grid, depend on seawater for reactor cooling, a method that inherently places them at higher risk during tsunamis. Hokkaido University researchers have uncovered evidence of a major quake over 400 years ago that devastated this same coastline. They suggest a recurrence pattern between 340 and 380 years, a cycle which is now overdue, signaling that a tsunami-triggering megaquake may be imminent. Government figures and researchers alike are calling for immediate action. Japan's Minister of Science and Technology emphasized the urgency for municipalities to enhance disaster preparedness and public awareness. Despite Japan's leading earthquake readiness systems, the unpredictable nature of such large-scale disasters still poses significant danger. Experts stress that understanding and preparation, rather than panic, are the best defenses as the region continues to tremble under tectonic tension. The recent seismic unrest in Hokkaido has amplified these long-standing fears. A series of earthquakes, starting with a 5.9 followed closely by a 6.1, struck southeast of Nomuro setting off alarms among seismologists and local authorities. Though such magnitudes are not unprecedented in the area, their proximity to critical infrastructure and historical quake zones intensifies concern. These events prompt the essential question, are they isolated incidents or potential foreshocks to something far more catastrophic? Scientifically, there's no definitive method yet to distinguish a foreshock from a main shock in real time. Retrospective analysis often reveals the truth only after a more significant event occurs. Japan has invested heavily since the 1960s in seismic monitoring, measuring crustal strain, gas emissions, and electromagnetic variations, yet consistent precursors remain elusive. With each significant quake, like the ones just recorded in Hokkaido, there's a 5-10% to chance of another quake of similar magnitude within a week, and a 20% chance for aftershocks above magnitude 5. Adding to the complexity is Hokkaido's tectonic setup. The region lies at the juncture of the Pacific Plate, subducting beneath the Okhotsk microplate, a dynamic intersection prone to sudden shifts in energy release. The subduction zone, similar to the one responsible for the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, has a track record of producing tsunamis and massive seismic events. Historical records and geological evidence from sediment layers show that such events cluster periodically, supporting the theory of seismic cycles rather than random occurrences. Given this, Scientists now prefer a probabilistic forecasting model over deterministic predictions. Rather than declaring a major quake is imminent, they focus on likelihoods based on patterns in seismic behavior. This approach helps communities prepare for scenarios rather than react to surprises. The two recent quakes, while within the expected behavior for the region, serve as stark reminders of the ever-present risk in Hokkaido. Preparedness and vigilance remain the community's best tools as nature gives yet another warning sign. Looking ahead, the people of Hokkaido and the broader Japanese population are urged to maintain constant awareness and preparedness. The possibility of a megathrust earthquake, even if statistically uncertain in the short term, carries consequences too severe to ignore. Coastal residents, tourists, and city planners must continuously assess their readiness, from identifying evacuation routes to assembling emergency kits and staying updated through seismic alert systems. The goal is not to live in fear, but to stay informed and ready. For those living near the Tamari and Higashidori nuclear facilities, the stakes are especially high. The 2011 Fukushima disaster demonstrated how quickly natural forces can compromise even the most secure systems. A repeat scenario could not only disrupt Japan's energy infrastructure, but also have global environmental impacts. This is why proactive planning, frequent drills, 
and transparent communication from authorities are critical components of earthquake resilience strategies in such high-risk zones. Despite all the technological advances in seismology, the truth remains that earthquakes, especially large ones, strike with little or no warning. What decades of study have revealed is not certainty, but patterns, enough to build models, educate the public, and enact safety protocols. As the earth beneath Hokkaido continues to shift, it serves as both a literal and symbolic reminder that vigilance and scientific curiosity must go hand in hand. Knowledge is our strongest ally against the unpredictability of nature. If you found this information insightful, make sure to subscribe for more detailed updates on seismic activity around the world. Share this video with others who live in or travel to earthquake-prone regions. Let's build awareness together. Preparedness today could save lives tomorrow. Stay alert, stay informed, and always respect the power of the planet we live on.